I'm going to show you how to spoof the R9 270 or R9 for Hackintosh okay so we're gonna go to this PC right click and get the property and then we're gonna go to device manager and the display adapter here is set R9200 series and we're gonna go to property and with the detail and what we want to go to is the BIOS device name. So this is what we need, okay? So when we download the spoof, so let's go here. SSDT GPU spoof, all right? So we download this one. The problem is that we cannot edit this because in Windows. BIOS device name for <coughs> our graphic cards. And we see it here. It said SPI0, BR3A, H0000. We're going to replace this one inside this. SSDT GPU spoof. So we replace the PEG0 PEGP with BR3 H0000. We're going to put the device ID. So device ID we want to spoof is 6810. So we put 10 and 68. And then we can add the model number like AMD Radeon R9270. And this one is just to show up device number. Okay? Device name. That's all. So when we fill out exactly like this and then we save it as whatever the AML that you have and make sure you compile because if you cannot compile you cannot save it as the uh, AML Broadwell E 6900K uh, i7 gigabyte X99 UD5. So this is Monterey. GTX 760 is no longer working. We could use the R9 280 and R9 270. So I bought this R9 270. Uh, it's supposed to be 270X, but it's actually 270 from Sapphire. And it got 2 gig. So the problem is that if you don't spoof this one correctly, you won't get the full acceleration, the frame buffer. If you don't have the frame buffer, you can't use it at all. But the only thing that is to make this to work is you have to spoof the GPU. Now there's two GPU spoof. The one I used before didn't work. So the one I used for the 280, the only thing different is that this TO you use ID here. So I downloaded the new one and this one is different. So only this one works with the 270 and this one before I, I've been using work with the uh, 280. One more thing is to get this to work is that the CAX for the whatever green I have to use 
the exact version 151 if you don't get the version 151 you use 152 you use 150 or whatever it won't work either and one more thing is that you don't really need to put it in the device property when you boot you will have Apple key store error and it keep looping and looping so if you use window window will detect this one as 6811 and not 6810 and 6811 is not in the fave buffer so it doesn't go in here so that's the reason why we have to spoof the 6810 which is the 270x so when we spoof it correctly then it will recognize a 6810 instead of 6811 even though you have the NVRAM 2 gig but you don't have the full acceleration because this one is not transparent and all the color and the sound is not even there so you have no sound here when I'm recording this so even if I get both of the R9270 or R9280 spoof correctly and with full acceleration they still freezes in both Big Sur and Monterey so I think the Sapphire is not working very well